So, um, Praveen, in our previous uh, uh, video, we discussed the demo and, you know, uh, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So, uh, you know, could you maybe show me something uh, on, on what AppSheet can do and, and especially the, the, the ease of use you have whenever you get started? Sure. Um, so, as I mentioned, AppSheet is, tries to understand the intent of the person building the app and tries to build it automatically. Um, our first observation is there's a lot of this intent present in the data that's being used in the business. So uh, let's look at an example. In this case, it's a spreadsheet, it's easy to work with. Um, it's a spreadsheet of customers. So you can see there um, customers with the name, a photo, an email address, and some contact information and stuff. There's also a tab at the bottom for products. So you see different products with different prices. There's a tab that shows um, orders. So each customer's got multiple orders. And finally, there's a tab that has line items, which are sort of entries in every order. So each of them is some quantity of a certain product being bought. So that's our data. Like, uh, like Microsoft Access back in the days, right? Yeah, that's we're just sort of building a simple example everybody can understand. In practice, yeah, yeah that's good, that's good. I liked it, so. Uh... So now we're going to go build an app out of this data. Um, and I have an add-on here, which lets me have a single button to go create an app. And uh, this is one of many ways people find app sheets. So it's just got a button saying, go build me an app from this data. So let's see what it does. So I go click on it. It takes me to app sheet, the website. If, it, if you don't have an account, it'll ask you to sign in. And um, assuming my internet uh, connection is, uh, you know, likes me today, an app will get built. Um, and this app is going to be built out of the data that's in that spreadsheet. So there it goes. Um, what you're seeing here is the design surface for AppSheet. I have my data here. This is my design surface. And you're going to see an emulator of the app here on the right. What it's done is it said, oh, it looks like you've got customer data. And so it's showing a visualization of this customer data in a mobile-friendly format. By the way, a link to this app is already sent to my email, so I can install and run this on my phone. Um, let's look at what it does. I can go um, make phone calls. Uh, because it's phone numbers, I can call them or message them, uh, send email and so on. They have addresses, so they've been geocoded and shown in a map. In fact, I can look at a map of all of the customers and wander through them. Could, could you go back to the, to the sheet? Uh, because this seems uh, like, I mean. Oh, yeah. So if you look at the sheet, uh, here are the customers, and they have addresses. Oh, wow. They have phone numbers. They have email addresses. So what's happening is um, actually has data recognized right away. the structure of the data. Exactly. Yeah. It's recognized the structure of the data and presented it in a mobile-friendly way. Wow. Uh, also, you can look at the data, and you can change it. So um, let's say I've got the phone number of this person wrong, so I'm going to change it, and I'm going to save the data. And this change will get pushed back all the way back to the spreadsheet. So wherever this person was, Eric, um, wherever at, find, there he is, phone number has been changed. Yeah, so yeah, you can see it at the top of the spreadsheet. It says uh, seconds ago in the uh, right. So yeah. what we have here is the complete 101 demo of AppSheet, which is data in the cloud, gets reflected into the app. The app can be shared with other people. So for example, I could just send this to barge at nextnovate.nl, is that you? Um, yeah. and say add, and you will get a link to install and run this app on your device. So uh, that's it. So uh, multiple people can start using this app. It's always working. Now, now notice the platform tries to be a little smart. It says, oh, look, it looks like you have products as well. So let me add that. It's going to add a products table. And it looks like you have orders. And it looks like you have customer. It looks like you have line items. And it all gets linked together. So what I'm going to show is a slightly uh, an app that's a little further along the same application or the same data, but I've just sort of built it out so we don't have to do this every step. Um, but notice now I've got the data grouped by whether it's open, complete, or canceled. Uh, they're color-coded based on the data. Um, and if you go to any particular order, so let's say I go to this order. Um, let's go pick an order that actually has some entries in it. Um, let's say this one. You notice it's got a line item in it, and it's got a total. The line item has got 800 bananas, but let's, let's make that 900 bananas. The total changes, and the total for the whole order changed as well, automatically. And that's possible because although this is a no-code platform, all kinds of rich logic can be defined in it. In particular, here is what did we do to compute the total? We actually had a formula. 
And what we've learned is that business users are very comfortable writing formulas. Can you see the formula that says? Yeah, this is this is just Excel or Google Sheets. You know, it's that's a, the Excel or Google Sheets style formulas, but they used all over the app to define the colors for things, the logic for things. Um, so there's a tremendous amount of richness we don't have a whole lot of time to get into. But what we're doing here is just scratching the surface, just a mobile app, little piece of it in presentation. But then behind it, you can write workflow rules and emails when, when data is captured, um, do a lot of really rich capabilities, um, including things like machine learning and other intelligence that we talked about. Um, there's a number of other things we can go into, um, but you know we have a couple of other demonstrations of those that uh, Bart will cover next. Uh, sorry, my uh, connection dropped for a second. Could you maybe repeat what you were uh, 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 asking? Sure. Um, what we've covered here is just a real surface, uh, sort of almost the minimal surface of what you can do with AppSheet. Um, our customers get to this point with the working app in less than half an hour. Um, and then they start adding things and changing things and modifying things um, so that they add a lot of richness to the application. This yeah. is what you have that's, that's, just, that's just business logic, what they're then adding, right? That's not something to code. That's just, you know, you are in a workshop and you think like, okay, this is this is the way it should work. You can maybe change it later on. And I think, <clears throat> you know, that's also what, what the reason why we spend time on AppSheet is that we've seen this really taking off in organizations, um, especially, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm an IT guy, so let's just talk for myself, but even without my help or without our company's help or with IT help in general, We've seen business uh, taking this up, so that's really interesting. Um, we, uh, in the previous um, uh, uh, call, we also talked about AI and ML on this thing. Um, I mean, it, it looks really awesome, and, and, and by the way, this is, this is constantly developing. Um, the whole part about the AI, um, uh, uh, you already have like a nice video uh, from it, I guess? Yes. In fact, uh, we have demonstrations of a number of different capabilities. I just mentioned them here, and then we can sort of splice in standalone demonstrations of each of them. Uh, very briefly, um, we have the ability to do natural language processing, a sort of Siri-like assistant in every app, out of the box, that okay. you can type in uh, you know, natural language queries or speak to it and have it react to that data completely. Uh, automatically. Uh, we have text classification capabilities so that uh, and regression predict and, and churn predictors. What's an example? Um, if you had data, if we're talking about customers and you want to predict if a customer, um, a potential lead will turn into a customer. You know, anybody with sales has this problem. Um, lead prediction, you know, uh, conversion prediction is really important or churn prediction automatically out of the box with app sheet. How is this impossible? Um, it's because again, we have an understanding of the model of your data, and we have the data itself, so we're able to train uh, machine learning models that can do a number of these intelligent capabilities, so you don't have to do it yourself. Can you show me uh, my customers on a map? Let me see a list of my products. Uh, let me see their photos. Now, can you show me just the ones that cost $3 or more? Actually, I wanna see the ones that cost at least $4. All right, now go to the orders page. Group them by customer. And filter it down to just the open ones. All right, now let me see a list of the customers. Can you pull up Bob Barker's information? Add a new order for him for November 1st. All right, now go back to Bob Barker's information. Start a new email with him.
I'm going to give a quick demo about how to incorporate machine learning into your AppSheet app without writing a single line of code. So over here I have a simple customer feedback app. In this app, users can leave comments like, please give us more tutorials, and then categorize it into one of a fixed number of categories. In this case, maybe more videos. So what we're going to do is train a machine learning classifier to predict which category a given comment should be in so that the user doesn't have to manually enter in that category information anymore. So to do that, we're going to start out with a spreadsheet that has a, about 200 examples in it of comments and the categories that the comments belong in. So to do this in AppSheet, I'm going to go over to the Intelligence tab and I'm going to add a new predictive model. So a predictive model has a name. I'm going to call it Categorize. And it has some training data. So I'm going to pick that training data spreadsheet that I just showed you called training data. Then you need to pr pick which column uh, the model is going to predict. In this case, I'm going to predict category. Next, you pick the inputs to the model the information that I'll use to predict the category. In this case, I'm going to pick the comment column. Once I save this, the model should begin training and should be finished in a couple of minutes. Okay, the model's been trained, so we can scroll down and see a summary of what happened. So you can see that it took about three minutes to train, and on average it gets about 70% accuracy. Uh, for comparison, always predicting kudos, which was the most uh, common output category, gets you about 42% accuracy. You can see here some uh, important words that the algorithm found um, for each category. So for example, in the Better Docs category, the words help, better, documentation, and app were important. Whereas in the More Videos category, videos, tutorials, video, training, and so on were important. So to use the model in our app, all I have to do is copy one of these formulas. So in this case, I'll copy this one. And I go over to Data, Columns. And I'm going to set it as the initial value for the category column here in the form. So I'll just scroll down and set the initial value to use the model to predict uh, the category given the comment that the user has already typed out into the form. So I'll press OK and save. Okay, let's try it out. So I'll try typing in, can you please give us more videos? You can see that the category was automatically filled out to be more videos. How about, I love app sheet, you're great that automatically got assigned to the kudos category. Anyways, that's all I have to show. Thanks for watching. Sounds good. Well, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna edit this video a little bit and make sure that those uh, videos come in. That sounds great, Bart. Thanks so much. Okay, well, thank you so much, Sepervine, for showing this to us.